What if the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of everything? What if the creation of our cosmos was actually just one of countless Big Bangs and new universes are still being formed out there today? Well, then we would have arrived at the exciting theory of chaotic inflation and thus at a thesis that has now been given new impetus by an unexpected discovery made by the James Webb Telescope. That's not all. Based on the data collected, a team of experts has even come to the conclusion that our cosmic world was only created by merging with another universe. A simple question, a complicated debate. Although the discussion about what actually came before the Big Bang seems superfluous from the outset, not all experts agree on a simple answer of nothing. However, this was not the case for a certain Stephen Hawking, which is why the genius, who died in 2018, could be quoted as follows on this subject. The question of what was before the Big Bang is just as pointless as asking which direction is north of the North Pole. Because time itself only began with the Big Bang, this is an event that cannot have been caused by anything or anyone. The laws of nature themselves tell us that the universe can come into being without the need for energy or a cause. So far, so clear. And yet, we should not forget that there are other renowned physicists who take the opposite view. For example, Michio Kaku is convinced that there was something before the Big Bang, and that string theory can even give us a detailed insight into the mysterious phase before the cosmic beginning. Quote, Einstein said that the universe is a kind of bubble that is expanding. However, string theory says that there are other bubbles out there, a whole bubble bath of universes. And if string theory is correct and such a multiverse exists, we can also say what happened before the Big Bang. The Big Bang was the collision or the splitting of universes. String theory does indeed come up with some remarkable conclusions that sometimes test our powers of imagination. Fundamentally, it's based on the approach that the fundamental objects of physics are not point particles, but one-dimensional strings, or in other words, strings or threads, that are found inside every particle. Applied to a higher context, the string theory in turn states that every conceivable world also exists. In other words, the fact that life has unfolded in our universe was by no means a mere happy coincidence, but rather an inevitable consequence. After all, among the countless universes out there, there must be one in which the laws of physics fit together so perfectly that life arises. The Search for the Beginning But whether there is just a single universe or a whole cosmic foam bath, how do we even know when and how the universe was created? Well, to understand this, we have to turn back the wheel of time to the 1920s. That was when astronomers first realized that most distant galaxies are moving away from us. Later, however, it became clear that it's not the galaxies that are moving through space as they flee, but rather that space itself is constantly expanding. And once the experts had uncovered the expansion of the universe, they were also able to look at it in reverse and finally calculate back to a point at which the density of matter and energy is infinite and all spatial distances are zero. Consequently, they had arrived at the original singularity, and thus at the extreme starting point from which matter, space, and time emerged about 13.8 billion years ago. According to the cosmological standard model, however, a phase occurred immediately after the Big Bang, in which the universe expanded at an absurdly rapid rate. In detail, experts assume that the universe expanded by a factor of 10 to the power of 30 to 10 to the power of 100 in the course of this cosmological inflation, and that, mind you, in a period of time against which the blink of an eye takes an eternity. However, it should be noted at this point that we are still a long way from understanding all the background to this extreme cosmic growth spurt. On the contrary, in fact, inflation still represents one of the greatest mysteries in cosmology, and it's still disputed today whether it actually happened at all. However, Supporters of the inflation theory assume that there was or is a special field that has significantly influenced the uninhibited expansion of the cosmos, the so-called inflatant field. Depending on its state, this field causes the universe to expand, stagnate, or sometimes expand at a ridiculously fast rate. 
and assuming that the inflaton field was in a false vacuum shortly after the Big Bang. Random quantum fluctuations, that is, tiny random fluctuations in the values of the elementary particle fields, could have caused it to change into a true vacuum or into another false vacuum with lower energy. To clarify, a true vacuum in this context refers to a region of space with minimal energy, which does not necessarily have to be zero. In fact, a true vacuum can very well contain mass and energy. There just must be no state in which this region contains even less energy, because then it would be a false vacuum. Transferred to a cosmic context, this means that the change of state of the inflaton field has set the inflation of the universe in motion. However, during its transition from one vacuum state to the other, the said field also emitted energy in the form of radiation and matter and thus practically created its own brake pad that ended the inflationary growth phase and allowed the universe to expand at a normal speed from then on. Well, at least that's the widely held theory. And yet, there are experts who have their problems with this established view. These include, for example, the American physicists Paul Steinhardt and Alexander Vilenkin, who as early as the 1980s put forward the thesis that cosmological inflation did not in fact come to a complete standstill. In simple terms, random quantum fluctuations could also give rise to individual bubbles in which the inflaton field takes on the appropriate value to end inflation. Elsewhere, however, inflation would continue unabated, with the reverse conclusion that what we commonly call the universe is in fact merely a bubble-shaped subspace in which our world could unfold. In the same breath, however, this theory also entails another, no less exciting fact. Because if that is really the case, then there must also be other bubbles in which other universes have formed. In this context, the Big Bang would no longer be the literal beginning of everything, but merely the beginning of the inflation stopping in our cosmic bubble. In fact, in this model, there is no such thing as a beginning of everything at all only eternal inflation, from which new universe bubbles repeatedly split off. Webb's mysterious discovery. Has our universe been swallowed by another? And there, where one of the greatest mysteries of modern space research was once again confirmed by the James Webb Telescope, stands the equally surprising and breathtaking conclusion that our cosmos could once have collided with such a universe bubble. But first things first, the so-called Hubble constant basically indicates the speed at which space is currently expanding. If we determine the corresponding value using our theoretical models and the cosmic background radiation, we get a Hubble constant of 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. But as soon as the expansion rate is determined using supernovae, red giants, gravitational lenses, and variable stars, the Hubble constant is suddenly 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. This is a problematic deviation, to say the least, and it means nothing more than that the universe is expanding faster today than it should. And this has recently been confirmed once again by the James Webb Telescope. To check the data sets of the past for possible errors, Webb took a closer look at more than 320 variable stars, so-called Cepheids, and in doing so provided proof that the impossible discrepancy is indeed real. But how is that even possible? How can it be that our models simply don't match the actual observations in space? Well, that's exactly the question, and some experts believe that exotic particles or forms of dark energy and dark matter that are completely unknown to us are possibly hiding out there. However, the study recently published by Jan Amjorn and Yoshiyuki Watabiki in the Journal of Cosmology and Astroparticle Physics comes to a slightly different conclusion. In reality, the accelerated expansion of the cosmos could be fueled by the constant merging with other universes. But that's not all. According to the study's authors, the merger with the so-called baby universes can even better explain the collected data than the standard model. In their work, the researchers showed in detail that the merger with other universes should increase the volume of our own, a circumstance that is perceived by our measuring instruments as cosmic expansion Furthermore, the experts also determined the expansion rate that would result in this case and found that their values ultimately match real observations in space better than our established theories. In the same breath, the experts also addressed the problem of cosmological inflation, 
and unceremoniously abandoned the idea of an inflatant field. Instead, according to the hypothesis, the exponential growth spurt of the early universe can be explained by the fact that our young cosmos was swallowed up by a larger mother universe at the time. Subsequently, it followed in the footsteps of its cosmic mother and also began to collide with and absorb other baby universes. But does this mean that the true background to the Big Bang and inflation has finally been uncovered? Have we finally found the answer to the question of what was before the Big Bang? Well, not quite. Even if this new theory should coincide with reality, it cannot explain how the corresponding mother universe was formed. If you like, the chain to the mysterious beginning would only have been extended, and ultimately, only the future can show whether the current standard model or the baby universe theory is better suited to explain the current expansion of the universe. The current expansion of our community can be explained quite simply by your clicking on the subscribe button. We'll hope you click like and subscribe so you never miss a new video from us again. We'll see you soon.